On the weather here closer to home, Griffin, it's been really active today and it's really worse out in Mississippi. Yes, it is. We have a large tornado, in fact, that is in progress right now in northeast Mississippi. I want to show you this first. This was the funnel cloud that we saw earlier today in far western Tuscaloosa County. This is looking west from the Barron Institute camera that's right there on the Black Warrior River. You can see the funnel cloud right there in the center of your screen. Won't know for sure if that's a confirmed tornado or not until the weather service completes a storm survey. A lot of the tornadoes today have been farther west in Mississippi. We had one that crossed through south of Yazoo City, another one near Byram and Terry, southwest of Jackson, Mississippi, and then one that's happening right now as I speak uh, up in northeast Mississippi, up towards Tupelo, all thanks to this big storm system, the upper level low over Arkansas, storms firing up out ahead of it in both northeast Mississippi and down to the south towards uh, the Gulf Coast. Coast. Here's the warning as it stands right now. This is in effect until 1045 p.m. Central Time for again a potentially very large tornado that just passed through uh, the central part of Tupelo, Mississippi. We have reports from law enforcement of trees and power lines that have been knocked down. Check out that rotation signature as it passed just north of downtown Tupelo. Looks like it's crossed over I-22 now and is moving up to the northeast into parts of I believe it's Lee County and Itawamba County up in northeast. Mississippi. That warning in effect until 1045 p.m. Let's talk more about the weather at home. Right now it's been pretty quiet, all things considered, here in Birmingham tonight. 71 degrees right now. The dew point still pretty high at 61 degrees. That'll be the main feature is the higher dew points as these waves of storms get rolling over the next couple of days. Upper 60s and low 60s, 70s right now for our temperatures, but the dew points certainly elevated over towards Tuscaloosa sitting at 67 degrees. It'll be muggy for the rest of the day tomorrow as these winds continue to stay out of the South. So over the next 48 hours, we will continue to see waves of showers and storms early tomorrow morning that'll be passing through most of the area. I really don't think the overall severe threat is very high for at least us for the next, uh, at least for tomorrow. A lot of the storms that do that do pop up will be pretty isolated, and the risk of them turning severe is pretty low overall. And that'll be the main thing for tomorrow afternoon as well. You see how warm we get, upper 80s potentially for our daytime highs tomorrow here in Birmingham. We see a little bit of a lull in the action uh, by tomorrow evening, and then. Tuesday, we have a much more organized system that'll be passing through. This is the one I think that we really need to watch carefully because we'll have this huge cluster of storms that could uh, prompt a risk for flooding and certainly some pretty strong winds as that line of storms comes in Tuesday evening. So we'll certainly be keeping an eye on that as the week progresses, or at least the forecast progresses. The rain chances 60% tomorrow, 90% for Tuesday. Certainly stay weather aware. Make sure you have downloaded the free CBS 42 News app. Turn on your weather alerts and make sure you're devices are charged up uh, before we get to Tuesday with those storms that'll be rolling in with a better chance of turning severe. So for your seven day forecast, thankfully drying out by Wednesday, sunshine will be coming back out by Thursday. A little bit cooler for the rest of the week as well. We're back down to the 50s and the 40s for our lows Thursday and Friday.